Hello, this is Scott McLean from TranceMusicMastery.com, and in this video, I'm going to continue the tutorial of how to mix kick and bass, and uh, this is video number three. So, uh, if you haven't seen the first two videos, go find those first and um, watch those. They talk about how to set up Vox and Go Span to uh, receive the inputs from the kick and these four bass tracks so that we can use the Vox and Go Span Spectrum Analyzer to understand where some uh, frequency conflicts are occurring and make EQ decisions based on that. Okay, so we're going to start by tackling the kick and this first bass track. So let me mute these other tracks. And right now we've got the kick going into the left channel and the bass going into the right. And uh, that's great for our Vox and Go setup so that we can uh, see the different um, spectrums in the, in the span VST plugin, but uh, not so great for what we want to do as far as listening. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add an instance of utility plugin on the master channel and set the width to zero just so to make it easier to hear both of these uh, kick and bass sounds uh, blended together uh, in a mono signal. So that'll help make some listening judgments. So that kind of gives us the best approach. We get a bo both a visual using the span plugin. We can see the graph separately. Uh, and we can also hear the two signals blended together in a mono signal coming from both speakers. So now, just looking at the graph, we can see that the bass sound, which is the kind of reddish line, that is conflicting with the kick because the kick is the green line and it's right here. Now I've zoomed my graph in. Let me zoom out real quick. So overall, the green, the green line is the, the kick spectrum. And this red, reddish line is the, uh, the bass spectrum for, for track number two. So one thing I notice is that the bass is peaking at 60. And it's got a second peak over here around 120, which is basically corresponds to one octave up. So that's uh, one of the harmonics in that signal. And we also see that the kick is peaking around, looks like 70, in the 60, 70 range. So there's a conflict there. But what we might be able to do is lower the kick in the 120 region, 120 hertz region, lower the volume of that with the EQ and then raise the volume of the bass in that area, which will just further um, emphasize this, this 120 hertz uh, harmonic in that bass signal. So let's try that out. So I'm gonna go over to the kick and I'm going to add a EQ8. And I'm going to set the frequency to 120. And initially I'm just going to I'm just going to bring it down 6 dB. Let's see what kind of difference that makes. And if we listen to the, to that difference Okay, it did take some of the, the body out of the kick. So I don't want that. So I need to move the frequency a little bit to the right, increasing the frequency a bit. And at the same time, I'm going to narrow the bandwidth. What I'm doing is trying to listen to the kick and hear 
I don't want to lose that that body. So now I'm going to uh, bring down the frequency a bit. That might work. So I don't discern too much difference with the EQ on or off, but we can see that this region has been lowered. So now I'm going to emphasize that 120 hertz region on the bass. I'm just gonna raise it, try 6 dB to begin with. Can always bring it back if needed. Yeah, let's lower it a little. So we still have a decent kick, and I think this is going to let this particular bass sound be more prominent in the 1 to 200 hertz range. So without EQ on the bass, with EQ. Without. With. And I'm actually going to bring the gain down some more. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So now... Let's continue with uh, base one and base two together. So I'm going to deactivate the kick. I'm going to uh, activate track three, play just base two and base base one and base two. And I want to see that. So here we have I've selected group two, which is showing us track two with an underlay of group three which corresponds to track three so this one this bass sound is it's peaking at the same region so and it's got some sub below 40 here it might sound neat to uh, I wonder what it would sound like if we emphasize this 30 to 40 range which is definitely clear of the kick because the kick was peaking up here around 70 and that would not conflict at all with with this second base signal the first base signal and then we need to make sure that we uh, leave some room here we don't want this to conflict with the first base so let's go ahead and try I'm going to try increasing the 30 to 40 range, see what happens. Hi guys, listen, this video is uh, 50 minutes long, and I decided instead of splitting it up and uploading the different parts to YouTube, I would just make the full version available on my website, transmusicmastery.com. It's in high definition, and the audio quality will be much, much better than what you're hearing now on YouTube, so... Go over to transmusicmastery.com and just sign up. It's free, and that will give you access to the members area where you can download the remainder of this video. Thank you.